for Hope Project, and for $5 you can buy a heart with a magnet on the back, write your own personalized message, and put it on the board, stick it to the board, and at the end of Bright Lights, we are going to take all of your community messages and bring them to Hotel Du Grace Healthcare and to Windsor Regional Hospital so that those healthcare heroes who have helped us get through for the past 20 months see the messages that this community is sending to them. And all of the proceeds for that particular project are going to the Unemployed Help Center. They're going to support the Salvation Army, and they're going to support Transition for Betterness. So help if you can. Bright Lights, as you know, is all about bringing the community together. It's a free, fun family event. And it's about bringing people together, regardless of what your faith is, regardless of what you believe in. This is one thing that unifies all of us, and that is the spirit of light that transcends every community, every religion. And I'm so proud to be the mayor of the fourth most diverse community in all of Canada, that we can come together uh, in a, on a night like this, in a December night like this, and celebrate one another in the best that all of our cultures have to offer. And before I leave, and before we do the official countdown, I want to recognize and acknowledge the two men that are on the stage. Brian Payne is the uh, chair of the board of the Hotel Du Grace Healthcare Foundation, and everyone knows Dr. Wasim Saad, who's the chief of staff, at, chief of staff at Windsor Regional Hospital. And these folks, these folks, and the entire team uh, behind them, underneath them, working with them, all of the colleagues in this community. Uh, have gone through very difficult times as well and they continue to go through it as we deal with this Omicron variant and whatever else is going to happen uh, in the future here and so we're going to figure out how to live with this virus and together uh, these folks represent all of those people in our healthcare institutions who have done amazing work for the last 20 months and I am so grateful on your behalf I am so grateful uh, for all those folks who've been burning the candle at both ends to make sure that all of us are safe and are able to be treated uh, if needed so thank you gentlemen for being here thanks for all your doing and please extend the entire community's appreciation to the team at both institutions. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. So now, without any further ado, it's going to be a little weird because they said, Drew, you can't count down from 10, you've got to count down from 15 to give the tree time to warm up. So together, don't think I've lost my mind, together, oh, I forgot one thing before we do this, I forgot to thank a group of people. And that is uh, Windsor Regional Hospital, Hotel Du Grace Healthcare, all of the vendors and the artists, the sponsors, AM800, uh, so many folks who have sponsored, all of the charities uh, who are participating here, who have volunteers on staff, our city staff, who've done a great job setting all of this up, uh, and my colleagues on city council. I know Councillor Morrison is here and Councillor Gill, and probably others that I haven't seen uh, because of the crowd here tonight. Thank you to all of you for making this uh, event possible each and every year. So, without any further ado, let's count down from 15 to Together, and we'll give the tree time to warm up and on the I guess when we get to one we're gonna push the red plunger and the tree is supposed to start so together 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 Merry Christmas, everyone.
Maybe that's him. Who knows?
Remember when we went here last time? But it's close. Yeah, is it? Mid November, you're not close.
Come on, guys. Thank <laughs> you.